guys, it's Jen. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. So today I'm taking you with me on a Trader Joe's haul. It has been a long time since I've gone to Trader Joe's. Uh, and Trader Joe's is one of those places that I don't actually have one in the town where I live, but I have one in the town where I work about 45 minutes away. So it's not somewhere that I go often to stock up on, you know, weekly groceries. When I go, I like to make it more of a stock up trip. So getting my favorites, freezer items, things like that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm a full-time working mom and I am doing vlogmas this year so if you have not caught up on all of my vlogmas videos I will have a playlist linked down below I was also actually just looking at my YouTube analytics today and about 40% of the people that watch my videos are not actually subscribed to my channel so <laughs> I would love to encourage you to do that I never actually say that in every video subscribe to my channel um, but I would be super appreciative um, if you did and then you can get notifications about when I post new videos so uh, I wanted to go in and share with you all of the uh, fun holiday items that they have out right now because I know that they always have awesome seasonal products however I'm in the parking lot right now and it is crazy I'm actually filming <laughs> this video at the end of November um, and it is before Thanksgiving and it looks to me like <laughs> it's pretty packed inside and so I'm not sure how much footage I'm going to actually um, get inside the store but I will try my hardest I obviously don't want to disturb people um, and get in the way of other people trying to get their groceries so I will do my best and then when I get home I will be sharing with you all of the fun things that I found today this looks delicious orange cake orange flavored and clove spice cake with vanilla cream frosting and candied orange peel they have a bunch of pumpkin pies too i'm not a huge eggnog fan but i think i might try this um just because it's a seasonal item and i've never had it before this is only 9.99 and you get six jars of honey hmm. all right i really tried but i had to abandon filming because there's just way too many people in here so i think i'm done now i'm going to show you what i got when i get home all right, so I am home now, and here's a look at everything I got from Trader Joe's. Most of the holiday stuff I got is down here. So we'll start on the other end. Um, like I said, the grocery store today was just so packed, and I could not uh, get, I could not stop to film stuff. I mean, the carts were just like lining the aisles, and it was crazy. But um, anyway, I hope that you get a good sense of what they have this year, at least the things that I got anyway. So let's start down here with the frozen items. So I did pick up some of these Argentinian red shrimp. I don't think I've ever seen these before at Trader Joe's, uh, but I have purchased these before from another grocery store here in town. And you can see that they actually look like they're cooked, but they're not. Um, they're red shrimp and so you do have to cook them but these are very sweet and they make the most delicious shrimp cocktail and so my plan for this is to put these in the freezer and we sometimes like to do like appetizers and movies on Christmas Eve um, we do go over to my mom's side of the family during the day but then sometimes it's night sometimes at night it's fun to have some you know snacky food and um, I'll put those in the freezer for that all right, so vegetable fried rice, this is not a holiday item, but I ended up getting this for dinner this evening. I just needed something quick and easy, and so I ended up getting the vegetable fried rice and the orange chicken. That will be for the kids. They really, really love this. Um, you guys, I'm sure you've heard of the Trader Joe's made an orange chicken before, but it's really good. I like to cook mine in the air fryer. You can also cook it on a sheet tray in the oven. And then I just, you know, thaw out the sauce and spoon it over the top. And then for Adam and I, I got some of the beef and broccoli. Uh, and then also some of the chicken pot stickers. These are really good if you like pot stickers as well. These are one of Kira's favorites. And then I also picked up a bag of their rice cauliflower. Uh, the other night I made this like... It was sort of like a creamy rice pilaf knockoff. I actually used rice cauliflower and I sauteed it with some butter, salt, pepper, garlic, and then I added a little bit of half and half, um, some Parmesan cheese and some Fontina cheese, and it made like a really creamy knockoff rice pilaf, which was delicious. Um, Adam is trying to work on cutting his carbs a little bit right now, so that was a good side for that dinner that we had this weekend. 
Uh, I have talked about this before, <laughs> but if you're new, you probably haven't heard me talk about it. This is so delicious. This is the Trader Joe's Cubano Seasoned Wrap. It comes with roasted pork, ham, Swiss cheese, and dill pickles in a flour tortilla. And then it has this mustard dressing that you dip it in. If you like Cuban sandwiches, this is like the best thing ever. So I had to pick up one of those. I don't know when I'm going to eat it, but maybe sometime in the next few days I'll have that for lunch. Uh, I also picked up some of the shredded Swiss and Gruyere cheese. Um, I thought this would go well with this rosemary ham. This is my very favorite lunch meat at Trader Joe's. And if you've never tried it, you need to. I don't know what it is about this rosemary ham, but it's just so tender and delicious and it's flavored really nicely so if I wanted to combine the ham and the Gruyere like in a quiche or something like that I think that would be really good uh, so my favorite hummus at Trader Joe's is the cilantro jalapeno hummus but I couldn't find just a container of that so I ended up getting the three layer hummus I've never purchased this before but it includes traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy hummus and I don't know if you can really see through the package but it is um, layered a little bit in there um, and to go with that before I forget to say that is these pita bite crackers they have two different kinds of these the multi-grain and the regular pita crackers I always get the multi-grain but these are really really good with their hummus um, and then I also picked up some of the candy cane Jojo's ice cream peppermint ice cream is one of my favorites and I honestly don't eat a lot of ice cream uh, but this is a small container so the kids and I can share it this is peppermint and vanilla ice cream swirled with I can't talk swirled with fudge and chunks of candy cane JoJo's cookies. So that sounds delicious. Um, and then the last frozen thing that I got was this cauliflower tot casserole. So it says golden cauliflower tots with creamy bechamel sauce and shredded cheddar cheese. I don't know. That sounds um, delicious. So. I thought we would give that a try as well. All right, so if your kids like goldfish crackers and you've never tried the Cheddar Joe, the Cheddar Joe's, <laughs> the Trader Joe's Cheddar Rockets, they are so good. I actually think these are a little bit better than goldfish. And Kira always requests goldfish to take to a snack, um, to take for her snack at school. I'm sorry, my dog is freaking out. I don't know what he's doing. Um, so I got these for her, well, and whoever else wants them. Um, I also picked up a jar of marinated artichokes. I do want to make some spinach artichoke dip for the holidays. I found some red and green tortilla chips from Fairway, which is like, so when I find stuff like that around here, I don't, if you're new to my channel, I live in Iowa and I live in kind of more of a rural area. Um, the town I live in has about 36,000 people. And so sometimes it's hard to find like specialty <laughs> ingredients around here, but anyway, um, I picked up these marinated artichokes to make some spinach artichoke dip, and I think it will be really awesome with those red and green tortilla chips. I also picked up a jar of capers. Um, sometimes I can find these at my Walmart, and sometimes I can find these at my Hy-Vee in my town, but specialty ingredients like this, I mean, some of you may not think this ingredient is a specialty ingredient, but around here it, it kind of is um, and I use capers sometimes when I make like chicken piccata and so when I'm at Trader Joe's since I only go there usually like every other month or so this is the kind of stuff I stock up on just so I have it in my pantry when I need it um, I also picked up some brown basmati rice this is another thing that I really have trouble finding around here um, my favorite way to cook rice is in the instant pot so if you haven't tried that, make sure you Google it. And if you have an Instant Pot, it makes perfect rice. Uh, this was in the holiday section. These are the mini peppermint meringues. And if you've never tried the Trader Joe's meringues before, they're really, really good. I would totally recommend them. I've never tried these peppermint ones, but I mean, obviously, how can they be bad? That sounds delicious. <laughs> Uh, I think I showed you guys this in the store, but I've seen this on a couple channels, and this is the Greek whole milk yogurt in the eggnog flavor. I'm honestly, like, looking forward to trying this. If you guys have tried it and like it, let me know. I'm not a huge eggnog fan. Like, it just doesn't appeal to me to drink it. I think the last time I tried it, I was probably a kid. Um, but I like yogurt, and so I thought this would maybe be good for breakfast, you know, someday. So I'll try that. I grabbed a uh, block of cream cheese for the spinach artichoke dip and then uh, these are anchovies and this is another item that can be hard to find around here especially getting like a quality brand like this and these don't expire until 
like a year from now. Um, the only thing I really use these for is to make Caesar salad dressing, but it's really delicious. And so I grab those just to keep in the pantry. So these are cheese blintzes and I have seen these every time I've gone to Trader Joe's and I've always wanted to try them and I never have. So if you've tried these, let me know if you like them. Um, essentially it looks like you can just heat them up in a skillet. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying that maybe for like breakfast or brunch one weekend. Um, I have not seen this before at Trader Joe's, but again, I have not been there in a while. So this is Balela, a savory Middle Eastern salad with chickpeas, black beans, and tomatoes. So I thought that looked, uh, really good. I don't always buy a lot of like pre-prepared, you know, wraps and salads and stuff like this, but when I go to Trader Joe's, I know that they, you know, their products are really good. And so I kind of splurge on those. Uh, okay, this is in the refrigerated section by the produce, and this is my very favorite Asian vinaigrette. This is delicious on a salad with like romaine. You can put wonton strips, cucumbers, cilantro, uh, mandarin oranges, and then like chicken or shrimp or salmon. Um, this does expire more quickly than like a shelf stable vinaigrette would, but to me it's worth it. I've also uh, marinated chicken in this before and did like a chicken satay delicious as well. Uh, I also wanted to try this Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce. I heard um, Leanne on Grady's Mom, if you don't watch her channel, you should. She has content similar to mine, and so I'll link her down below, but she was talking about like a KC Masterpiece uh, brand of this Carolina Gold Barbecue Sauce, and I haven't been able to find that around here, but I did see this at Trader Joe's, and so I decided to try that. Um, can you believe it? We are all out of ketchup. We never run out of ketchup in this house. And honestly, Adam's going to throw a fit that I bought this and not Heinz ketchup, <laughs> but they do not have Heinz ketchup at Trader Joe's. So I bought this instead. Uh, and then Kira has been liking to drink tea and, um, she likes green tea. And so I saw this candy, candy cane green tea, and I'm pretty sure I saw this on some grocery hauls last Christmas season and people said that they liked it so I haven't decided if I'm gonna give this to her now or put it in her stocking okay and then to go with those Argentinian shrimp for the shrimp cocktail I grabbed a Trader Joe's seafood cocktail sauce um, so these are some of the holiday items that I got I saw this chocolate peppermint loaf and baking mix so this was right next to the Candy Cane JoJo's and I hadn't seen this before and it said that obviously you can make bread with it or you can make cookies too. And so I went ahead and picked that up just to try it. It sounded good. Uh, this is not a holiday item, but my kids really like these cereal bars um, from Trader Joe's. This is the strawberry kind and so I'll stick those in the pantry for snacks. Uh, these I'm going to put into my kids stockings this year. These are actually hot cocoa, a hot cocoa snowman. So you heat up a cup of milk and then put this in the hot milk and they can stir it around. It also has mini marshmallows in it. So I thought that would be um, a really cute treat for their stocking this year. Uh, I feel like I got this last year, but I didn't eat them. I maybe gave it as a gift. These are the Trader Joe's taste test of caramels. Do you say caramel or caramel? I always say caramel. It looks like they have in there toffee apple, ginger, vanilla, maple, espresso, strawberry, hot chili, coconut, uh, Himalayan salted, fig and honey, blood orange, balsamic, and butterscotch. So like apparently there's like a game you can play where you can guess them, but I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I might give it as a gift. I might keep it. Who knows? Uh, this I got for a gift. This is the Belgian truffle Balaton box. So it's nicely wrapped here and then it has a tag with all of the chocolates that are inside there. These are the type of gifts that I give to people who are very hard to buy for, like my grandma, for example. Um, sometimes I'll give her something like this and maybe like some specialty coffee and a scarf or some new gloves. Um, and obviously she's very gracious and appreciates anything that I give her, but I just feel like something like this is, you know, small and inexpensive, but yet it still looks um, really nice as a gift. Uh, I always put some chocolate coins in my kids' stockings, so I went ahead and just grabbed one bag of these. I'll split these up and put some in each of their stockings for Christmas morning. Uh, I also saw these peppermint mini marshmallows, which I don't think I've ever seen before there. You can see they're pink in color and taste like peppermint, and so to go with that, I got some of the sipping chocolate. 
Um, I love to make hot chocolate with milk. I don't think that you should make it with water. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know some people make their hot chocolate with water and I'm just like, oh, you should make it with milk. But I thought this would be really good if I uh, made this with um, some milk and put these on top of it. We normally have a tradition where we go out and look at Christmas lights and we drink hot chocolate. And so this would be something that I could make prior to that, put them into to-go cups and then go look at Christmas lights. Uh, these are chocolate liqueur cherries, and I got these for Adam. It does say that they have uh, alcohol content in them, so just be cautious. These aren't for kids or anything like that. He really loves chocolate-covered cherries. Like, it's one of his favorite um, candies, and I always get him chocolate-covered cherries for Christmas, and so I thought this would be a fun spin on that, so I'll put these upstairs, and he'll get those. Uh, they had some different bowls there, so this was just a single olive bowl. I don't really own anything like this. They also had a three-pack. It was $19.99. I didn't want to spend that much today. And then they also had some cutting boards. Uh, but this will be nice to put out for, like, hors d'oeuvres during the holidays. Um, it does say to not, you know, don't soak this in water. Don't, you know, wash it really abrasively with soap or anything, and you do have to oil it. Um, to keep it, you know, keep its finish nice. But I thought that looked nice, and I'm looking forward to using that for hors d'oeuvres. And then, uh, we, I honestly don't buy this all that often, the cookie butter, but um, I thought this would be a fun treat to have around for the holidays. Uh, my Adam and I always take two weeks off at Christmas, and the kids are off for school, and so this is something maybe they can have once in a while on a waffle for breakfast. Um, it's just, it's really good and I haven't, I haven't purchased it for a while. Um, I also saw the peppermint foaming hand soap and so I'll probably put this in our powder room downstairs here um, for when guests come over during the holidays. And then last but not least, I did get a few drinks. So I grabbed a couple of bottles of Prosecco. I can't remember the price points on these. One was maybe $9.99 and one was $7.99. Um, but I just like to try different brands and see which ones I like most. And then this is, I think also a seasonal item. It's the honey crisp apple cider. So I don't really have a plan for this stuff. Um, but with holiday entertaining, if you want to do apple cider mimosas, you can use Prosecco or champagne just like you would, um, with orange juice, you know, for a regular mimosa, except use apple cider. And it's, it's really, really good. We, we've had it for Thanksgiving for the last couple of years now. It's delicious. So. That is everything I got from Trader Joe's, a little bit of holiday stuff, a little bit of normal stuff today. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and this day of Vlogmas. Again, I will link my Vlogmas 2019 playlist down below, and I will see you back tomorrow for another video. Bye.